Hustle Rock on Fire. Nigeria is shocked as APC conferences drop dangerous message about article. Peter will be see what he said. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The All Progressive Congress APC has responded to the allegations made by candidates of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Atiku Abubakar, and Peter Obi at the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal against President Bola Tinubu, stating that some of the accusations carried criminal implications. The case revolves around the challenge presented by Obi and Atiku against the declaration of Tinubu as the winner of the February 25th presidential election. In a statement issued on Wednesday, the APC asserted that both Atiku and Obi failed to provide credible evidence to substantiate their claims that the president the presidential election was rigged in favor of Tinubu. <laughs> the party's legal team led by Latif San urge that argued that the petitioners had not presented sufficient proof to warrant the reliefs they sought in their petition. The APC emphasized that the evidence presented by UB and the Labour Party against President Tinubu was minor and they lacked credibility. The party criticized the petitioners for mainly presenting documents without adequately linking them to specific allegations raised against Tinobu's victory, according to the APC. The documents lacked probative value and their irrelevance was not convincingly demonstrated. Furthermore, the APC contended that the petitioners failed to tie their allegations of election rigging to a specific polling unit in the local government areas of the 24 states they challenged in the petition. The party argued that some claims needed to be proven through cogent, credible, and reliable evidence. Addressing other aspects of the allegations, the APT, APC defended Tinubu's educational qualification, stating that he had attended Chicago State University, Chicago State University in the United States and graduated with honors. However, the party challenged the authenticity of the alleged forged certificates and argued that there was no evidence of any criminal involvement or conviction on Tinubu's part, reflecting the claim that he forfeited $460,000 in drug-related case. Regarding the allegation of double citizenship, the APC maintained that possessing a Guinea passport did not disqualify Tinubu from contesting the election or nullify his victory. The party assented that Tinubu was a, born, a bona fide Nigerian citizen by birth and that acquiring dual citizenship did not affect his right to vote or be voted for in Nigeria. In conclusion, the APC argued that the court argued urged the court to dismiss the petition and uphold Tinubu's selection election as president, citing the lack of substantial evidence to support the allegations brought forward by Atiku and Obi. Hmm. Meanwhile, in another developing news, PDP predicts uh, predict what will happen if Tinubu, if Tribunal sack President Tinubu. The opposition party, the People's Democratic Party PDP, has reviewed that. I review what I've reviewed what will happen if the February 25th, 2023 election victory of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC is nullified by the presidential election petition tribunal.
According to Daily Trust reports, the PDP noted that Nigerians will take to the streets in jubilation if the courts nullify the victory of President Bola Metinubu in the 2023 election. As reported by Daily Trust, Pedro Obaseke, the Director of uh, Strategy and Research of the PDP Presidential Campaign Council, PCC, made this assumption in Abuja on Wednesday, July 19, 2023. Obaseke, who addressed the press ahead of the judgment by the tribunal, also expressed confidence that the PDP believed in the ability of the judiciary to deliver a fair judgment that would be acceptable to the parties that are consigned. He also said, because of the mounting evidence in their possession, the tribunal judges will summon the courage to address issues raised, adding that the image of the country is at stake. A development is said the judges will not take lightly. Atiku, the presidential flag bearer of PDP in the disputed pool, is challenging the victory of President Bola Tinubu. INEC had on 1st March declared Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress APC election winner. One of Atiku's major issues with the election centered around INEX alleged manipulation of votes in favor of Tinubu. He alleged that the election umpire allowed a third party device to hijack his electronic result viewing IREF Porter during the presidential election, creating a loophole for Tinubu to manipulate pool results. Atiku Nigerian former vice president urged the court to determine that Tinubu was not duly elected by a majority of lawful votes cast, and therefore the president elects victory is unlawful, wrongful, unconstitutional, null and void. He urged the court to declare him the presidential election winner as he scored the majority of lawful votes cast of the presidential election. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.